Bread making was extremely popular during the first quarantine and it might be taken off again here as we are in another shutdown starting today. But turns out it's not just a great time filler. Fresh bread also makes a delicious gift. Hawthorne Country Store's Heather Thielen joins us from her kitchen in Escondido now to share us how to have a homesteading holiday. Good morning to you, Heather. Good morning. Glad you're with us here. A lot of uh, at home bakers are ready to get their dough on here this morning, right? So uh, what are you making up? Uh, what are you making this morning there? Well, I'm making a quick soda bread this morning and it's just super simple and it's nice because you can use things that you might have around or you can't find at the grocery okay. store. So you can't find the yeast or you can't find a sourdough starter. We have them at Hawthorne Country Store. Um, you can do a quick soda bread. Um, super easy. I mean, a little bit of flour, some okay. buttermilk, baking powder, and baking soda, and an egg that the chickens laid for us this morning. Oh, there you go. Um, this makes a great gift because it's quick, it's easy, it's fun, and you can add all kinds of goodies like oh. apricots and nuts say, from the trees and there? things okay. like that. Wow. Um, this is a really good opportunity to do some stuff with your kids, with your other family members. And it's not so sugary and sweet like when we do cookies. So uh, I know you were talking a little bit about the sourdough starter there. When this uh, bread making trend kind of took off, um, I understand sourdough starter was uh, in short supply. Um, do you think that's going to happen here again? Should, should people get their hands it on it? Or what are your might. thoughts? It It could happen. We have some right now, but uh, the supply chain has been really iffy. There's things that we cannot get, like canning jars. Ball and Kerr shut down because of COVID, and there are just not any canning jars available except the ones from other countries, uh, which is really kind of cool. I mean, you get an opportunity to try something different. That's true. Sure, sure. So, you know, I mean, when we're talking about making gifts and using these uh, these homesteading skills that you're showing us here, I mean, they really do have some benefits. You touched on a little bit. I mean, some quality time with your family, right? Yeah, quality time with your family. And what's better than a homemade gift to take to your neighbors or to take to what would have been your coworkers, drop them off without having to have any contact. True. They can be wrapped, um, disinfected, and then shared in their home. Yeah. It's kind of like sharing home to home and not having the Christmas party, but virtually kind of. I get it. I get it. And, you know, with uh, businesses shutting down, a lot of them even today are going to shut down. Some of them might have to close their doors for good. You know, money's a little tight here. So um, I, I would imagine some of these homesteading holiday ideas are, are pretty cost effective. They certainly can be. Things like bread baking is not expensive to do. Canning can be expensive because of the jars, but then the gift is the jar itself. Right. I mean, these jars, all of my dirty hands, are gorgeous. These are beautiful applesauce that I made this morning. It's just, that gift is fantastic. Can you hold that up again? Uh, we were in video while you were doing that. I want to just take a look. So Yeah, um, these are really cool. These what do you have in there? Jars. Aren't they beautiful? And you can tell whether they're set. They're super, super safe. Um, disinfect them ahead of time. But with the when the little tab is down, you know it's sealed. When the little tab is up, it's not sealed. Oh, there you go. So how much is it? How much would one of those jars be, for example? They're a couple bucks a okay. piece. Okay. Um, but if you're going to do a few dozen, you can get some discounts. There you go. Okay. Good. So so back to what you're making there, the bread. You just kind of got to mash all that stuff together. What's the next step with that? <laughs> Next step is I'm going to turn it out and make a beautiful ball. Okay. And then, whoo, come on, ball. You can ball up. <laughs> a bread ball, yeah. And then once we get a beautiful ball, then we'll throw it in the oven at 375. Okay, and it 375. And comes out fantastic oh. like this. Oh, 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 look at that, Heather. I wish you could just it's send that so through the, the just send that through the TV right now. That looks so good. Um, it is so good with like avocado toast. It's good when you have fruit in it. It's good you can put uh, ham and cheese in them. Sure, they're fantastic. Uh, so we talked a little bit about the canning materials. If you're lucky enough to have that, um, did you say you had some pickles there next to you too? What's that other one? I do. My mom made pickles. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, nice. They're so beautiful from her garden. Now, the cool thing about pickles, most of the time you can them, but you don't have to. You can make fridge pickles. So you can reuse jars that you're emptying from stuff at home. Oh, most sure. of the time we don't recommend that for canning for safety, but in the fridge you're safe. There you go. So like the, uh, the, the store-bought pickles, you can hold on to the jar and you can repurpose that after you clean it out for something and turn that yeah. into a gift. Yeah, your spaghetti sauce jar, 
Um, any go. glass mayonnaise jars, those can all be reused to make something you're going to keep in the fridge. Oh, Heather, we got to get going here, but I uh, appreciate you giving us a glimpse of some great ideas, and that bread looks amazing there. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> Cheers to your homestead holidays here, Heather. Bye. Thank you so much. Where can people learn more, or where can they help support you and the business? Sure. Um, Hawthorne Country Store in Fallbrook, Escondido, and Santee, which is new. Um, we do all kinds of homesteading supplies. So all of your chicken stuff, your bee, awesome. aviary, organic gardening, uh, anything we can do to help those folks that want to do it themselves. Taking care of the animals and the veggies and everything. Thanks, Heather. Really appreciate it. Thank you.